All right, this is Unit 1, Lesson 1, What are Scaled Copies? Our learning goal for today is let's explore scaled copies. So if you'd like to do the interactive digital version of this, um, here is the website. You can also get to it from the Open Up button on the homepage. So here's a portrait of a student, and the first thing I ask us is, how is one the same as or different from the original portrait of the student? Well, if I look at these, they are the same in that they are all pictures of the same boy. Um, and if this was in color, they have the same color hair, the same color shirt. I believe it's a blue shirt. Um, yeah, a blue shirt. They both have brown hair. They have the same smile. That's how they're the same. How are they different? Well, this one looks tall and skinny. This one kind of looks short and fat. Um, this one just looks smaller. This one looks bigger. And this one is slanted. So that's how they are alike and different. All right, some of the portraits A through E are scaled copies of the original. Which ones do you think are scaled copies? Explain your reasoning. So I would say that C is a scaled copy because it is exactly like that picture. It's just a smaller picture, but he looks the same. He doesn't look short and fat. He doesn't look tall and skinny, and he doesn't look knocked over. All right, I would also say that D is a scaled copy because that is the same. It looks like the same picture. It's just bigger. All right, the next activity is um, the letter F. So you are given um, seven different drawings of the letter F, and here is our original right here. We are asked to identify all the drawings that are scale copies of the original F and explain how you know. So looking at this, it's kind of like what we did with the other. So if we look at this, drawing one, well, that looks like a scaled copy. Okay, how about drawing two? Does that look like a scaled copy to you? Could be. So I'm going to put a check mark here and a check mark here because I think those are. This one doesn't look like that one. This looks like it's way too long. Okay, this one doesn't look like it because we've got a slant here. Um, drawing five. Hmm, uh, this looks like a pretty big space here, so I'm going to say no, that that probably isn't. But we can go back and, th and think about it when we answer question two. This one, these two lines are equal to each other, and they're not equal to each other there. Um, this one looks like it could be. So, and we kind of put a question mark here, maybe that one is. All right? So we are basically going by looks and a slanted line and the distance here. So that's how we determined it. Now it says examine all the scaled copies more closely, specifically the lengths of each part of the letter F. How do they compare to the original and what do you notice? All right, so let's look at this. This is one, two, three, four. So this is four units long and this is one unit long, and this is one two units long, and this line is in the middle, all right? So this one is one, two, three. This one is one, two, three, four, five, six. This one's in the middle, and this one's 1 1.5. Hmm. Do we have a relationship here? Well, if we look at this and we go to this, how do we get from 1 to 1.5? We multiply it by 1.5. What if we take 4 and multiply it by 1.5? Well, 4 times 1 is 4, and half of 4 is 2, so 4 plus 2 is 6. So that would be it. 2 times 1.5 is 3. So this looks like we multiplied it by 1.5. We multiplied it by 1.5. All right, this one, number two, we said could be. So let's count that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This side is eight. One, two, three, four. This side is four. This side is two. This is in the middle, just like it's in the middle there. So how did I go from one to two? I multiplied it by two. 
Well, what's four times two is eight. Two times two is four. So that looks like we took the original and we multiplied it by two. All right, let's look at this. This one we kind of had a question about. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. This is one, two, three. And this is one, two. All right, so one goes to two, we'd be multiplying by two, but four times two is eight, not six. So this one is not a scaled copy. All right, let's look at this one. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So this side is 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three. So it looks like one times three gave us this. What's four times three? 12, so that gave us that. And two times three is six. So this one is the original times three. All right, then we are asked on the grid to draw a different scaled copy of the original letter F. So we've done a scaled copy that is 1.5 times bigger, two times bigger, and three times bigger. So how about you try to draw one that's at a different scale? I'm gonna draw one that is at half times bigger. So I'm gonna multiply it by one half. So if this line is one, two, three, four, half of four is two. So I'm gonna draw two there. We know that this is gonna be in the middle. Half of one is half. So I'm gonna draw half here. Half of two is one. So there's my scaled copy of one half. All right, the next activity is a um, card match. And you will do that on Desmos. Um, the link should be on the page. And you're gonna match up the cards and it will tell you whether you got it right or not. All right, then you're going to select one pair of the polygons and examine it further. Draw both polygons on the grid and explain or show how you know one is a scaled copy of the other. So I have these and I said that J went with H. So I'm going to look at this and say one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven units here. One, two, three units here. Three units here. Three here. Five here. Three here. Five here. All right. So let's look over here at H and see what we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's six. So this was three, and now it's six. So that looks like I multiplied this by two to get to the six. Well, let's see if that holds true here. So if I have seven here, I need to have 14 going across here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I do. Okay, here I should have six. One, should I have six? Yep, six here, so one, two, three, four, five, six, I do. Here I should have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like it's gonna be the scaled copy. It looks like I did it right. One, two, three, four, five, six here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten here. Five times two is ten. And this should be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It is. And then this should be ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I can prove that they are scaled copies because this one, to get from here to here, I multiply it by two, so it is two times bigger. All right, so we have answered that question. Um, if you'd like to do it, are you ready for more? Is it possible to draw a polygon that is a scaled copy of both polygon A and B? 
either draw such a polygon or explain how that is impossible. So I'll let you do that if you choose to. All right, in the summary, we went over that at the beginning of class. So now we have a scaled copy. So what do you think a scaled copy is? Well, it's a, does it look similar? Okay, how about the side lengths? So all the side lengths get multiplied by the same number. Okay, and they look similar. They're the same shape is what I'm referring to here. Okay, so they're the same shape and all the side lengths got multiplied by the same number. All right, I hope that helps. Now you can do the practice problems.